Hey guys, it's Dark with Cyclone FPV. It is January 15, 2021. And so it's time to go ahead and do a new update. We're getting a lot of noise today. Those are my batteries uh, getting ready to go into storage mode. And I got my kids here. We're all running around having fun. So let me prep you with that ahead of time. Anyways, uh, so it is January 15, 2021. And it is time to update the Free Sky set series of videos I've done quite a long time ago. Uh, obviously things have changed. I think I've gotten better at doing this as far as doing the videos because people really told me how much I suck before. So we're gonna give it a shot. Um, but we're gonna do this in stages this time, okay? So we're gonna do these in steps. And step one is gonna be getting everything ready on your computer so that you can do your radio properly. Now I'm gonna do, I've got two radios sitting here right now, which are gonna be the QX7, the ACCST edition, and then the X9D Plus 2019 Access Edition, okay? Now we can do both of them. The steps are gonna be pretty much the same. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the ACCST edition and show you how to do this. And then also at the end, we're gonna start binding with different receivers. Step one, this is gonna be setting up your computer. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna share my computer screen with you. And don't worry about all the icons that are on here. This is a complete mess. But what we want to do is this. I'm going to make a whole new, uh, uh, a whole new set of folders with you. And so let's do this here on your desktop. Okay, I want you to uh, right click, and I want you to uh, left click on new. I mean, sorry, right click and then go to new, and then go to folder, and then get your keyboard out and just type the word. Uh, I don't know. Um, let's say transmitters. Oops, let me do this. T R. Come on. A-N-S-M-I-T-D-E-R-S. -E Perfect. Okay. I already have one. Sorry. Let me... Bad luck. Let's do... Um, let's do... Uh, I don't know. Just transmitter then. Okay. Because I forgot I do have one. That's where I actually keep all my stuff. So we're going to call the folder transmitter. Make sure you have that folder. Then what I want you to do is I want you to go to your internet, open up your Chrome or whatever you use, and I want you to go to open-tx.org. Okay. I want you to click... Uh, okay. Don't go there. Um, let me see. Open TX. Let me see. Uh, let me see where I'm at here. Sorry, guys. Uh, open TX. Let's see where it takes me. Okay, go. To, yeah, that's where I went. Oh, they might. You might have to put the www. Without that, they don't have. A, they don't have the uh, pointer used the other way. Okay, so go to www.opentx.org. So www.open-tx.org. Hit enter. Boom. We're already here. Okay. Then I want you to go ahead and go to where on the main page, it's gonna say news and it's gonna have your most recent downloads, right? It, so I want you to click on the new one. Today being the 15th of January, uh, 2.3.11 is a new one. So click it and then you're gonna get here and on this page, you're gonna scroll down and you can read all the options, uh, all the stuff here on, and it's good to kind of update it, but getting down to the link, here's what we're gonna do. The first thing you want to do is decide what computer you have. I'm going to be doing this on a Windows PC, so we're going to select a Windows installer. Mac is just as easy, though, and you can easily do that. So let's go ahead and take the Windows installer, okay, and click it. And it's going to start downloading. Now, it, it may go down to your downloads folder, so I'm going to tell it. That's Chrome asking me what I want to do. I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to take it out of my downloads folder, and I'm going to drop it into that transmitter uh, folder that we just made on the desktop. So let's just wait a second. I'm going to take my time and do this one piece at a time so that we're all on the same page. Now, I already have OpenTX loaded, so I'm going to be trying to do this like it's a new install, all right? Um, but uh, again, it says it's going to take about a minute. <clears throat> now, I could easily click here and start downloading this, but I'm not going to download the SD card. We're going to do this step by step. First step is to download the OpenTX software and get it installed. And it says we have about one minute left, so I'll take a drink of my coffee, and we're going to stare at this screen because I'm not jumping around because that was one of the big complaints people had was I moved too quick. Now it's sloth time. So get ready because we're going to slowly go about this, okay? This will be video number one. Okay, I'm awake. I'm sorry. I got my coffee. I'm, I'm, I got my riddle in my coffee, so we're going to get this knocked out. All right. And I didn't realize it was going to go this slow. But uh, it is what it is. So let's just hang out. Now, uh, let's see. I think what I'll do is I'll do, yeah, I'll do the QX7 first. And then I'll do the access, the X9D plus access. Again, though, they're very similar in terms of how you're going to do this. But we are going to take a, an R9 Slim OTA that can run access and ACCST. And I'm going to actually show you how to bind this to both radios, the proper steps. Okay, great. Now, I've run out of things to talk about, so we've got about four megs left uh, before we can uh, get started here. All right, wonderful. I'm back. Close. For the love of God. 
really, when you when you guys ask me to slow down, this is painful. I could have at least had five things downloaded. That's okay. We can do it. Oh my God, come on already. All right. Thank you. So when it's done downloading, if yours goes to your downloads folder, go ahead and open the folder, show it in the folder, and then just basically right click and click copy, and then go to your desktop, go to your transmitter folder that we just created, and left uh, right click and click paste. So basically copy and paste it into your transmitter folder. It's that simple, okay? Now, you can close down your windows here, okay? Go to your transmitter folder and run the program. Double click on it. And don't worry about this, just click more info and then click run anyway. Click yes. I agree. Click next. I gotta click next and click next. And then click, I don't care here, install. Okay? Click next. It's gonna say to open it, click finish. Wait for it to open. Now, I tend to do this. I will usually place, I already have one open. What is this one? Yeah, so there we go. So as you can see on the top, you have OpenTX Companion 2.3.11, and then, and don't worry about the right now, I already had radios loaded, okay? So you may get a startup screen that says to set up a radio. If you do, fine, just cancel out of it for now because we're gonna do this together. At this point, this portion of the video is done. That's part one. I will see you guys for part two in just a second. Peace.